some had reduced their commitment to God, their commitment to following Jesus. Why? Because they looked up to a leader, someone they looked up to, a human figure as a leader in the church who was not walking in the ways of God, who disappointed them, who offended them. And because of that, they lost their salvation, went back into the world, they reduced their commitment to Jesus. Hello, beloved. You're welcome once again to the 80-day challenge for 8 million souls in celebration of the 80th birthday of our Father and the Lord, Pastor E.E. E. Adebuye. I want to encourage you also to be a part of this challenge by telling someone of the Lord Jesus around you in your place of work, in your neighborhood. Let them know that Jesus loves them. And by doing that, the Holy Spirit will begin the work of salvation in their hearts. I also want to encourage you to share this video with someone out there and let Jesus minister to them. Today is our 10th day of the 80-day challenge. And today we are looking at Jesus as the head of the church. We are considering letter H today, considering Jesus as the head of the church. And our text will be taken from the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 23. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 23. It says, For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. So Jesus Christ is the head of the church and is the savior of the body. He is the savior of everyone that is part of the body of Christ, which is the church. So when you decide to come into Christ, when you decide to come into the church, you become a part of the body of Jesus. And that's very important because many people today who had come into churches some time ago they gave their lives to jesus proclaiming that they are believers or christians but somehow they got into the fold and they discovered that the way some leaders in the church were behaving was not christ-like was contrary to what the bible says and many of them had gotten offended some had backslid some had reduced their commitment to God, their commitment to following Jesus. Why? Because they looked up to a leader, someone they looked up to, a human figure as a leader in the church who was not walking in the ways of God, who disappointed them, who offended them. And because of that, they lost their salvation, went back into the world, they reduced their commitment to Jesus. I want to let you know this today, that Jesus is the head of the church. When you got born again, or as you will become born again today, it is Jesus that you are saved to. It is him that you should look up to. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Jesus must be your ultimate role model and your standard. A man of God at his best is still a man. And you must know that every man has his weaknesses. They have their shortcomings. And you must not let that detract you or distract you or mislead you from following Jesus holy and Jesus alone. So I encourage you, my brother, in case you've gone out, in case you've gone back, in case you've, you've looked out and you have stepped back into the world, Jesus is calling you back home today like that prodigal son, saying, I am your savior. I am your Lord. I am the one we should look up to. I am the one that will keep you in this race. I am the one that will help you finish well. So come back home, return to him and submit your heart to him afresh and anew. And I want to believe God with you that a new beginning will begin for you as you reconnect to the head of the church, Jesus Christ himself. What should you begin to do from now? Romans chapter 12 verse 11 says, Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord serving the lord it is the lord that you are serving not a man even if no man sees what you are doing to reward you to count you faithful or to compensate you you must remember that it is the lord you are serving and the lord of the work will reward you in his due time in colossians chapter 3 verse 23 colossians 3 23 and whatsoever ye do do it heartily 
as to the Lord and not unto men. So this is my challenge to you today. And just in case you are there, you have backslid, you've come back, you want to come back home, Jesus is waiting for you like the father of that prodigal son. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for your love for me. Thank you for being my head. Thank you for being my savior. Today, I repent of my ways. I repent of my erring attitude. And I ask for a new beginning with you today. Come into my heart. Abide with me by your spirit. And let me continue to remain connected with you. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. If you said that prayer, you are received, you are loved, and the help of Jesus, the head of the church, is available to you henceforth in the name of Jesus. Please visit www.reachforchrist.org to share your testimony and be a part of this ongoing challenge to share the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ and his grace will be sufficient for you in the name of Jesus. God bless you and have a wonderful celebration season.